Meredith continues our in-depth pinpoint weather coverage. He's live from Fairfax Park, an area that has seen a lot of water over the last couple of days. Hey, Mark. Hey, Eli, good evening. The good news right now is that the rain has stopped, and that's a good thing because you mentioned Fairfax Park. Well, look at it. It's not much to see anymore because it looks like a lake. The baseball field's completely underwater at this point. What's interesting about this park is this was originally designed as a retention pond, but there's been just so much rain so far that the fear is the water is going to be coming up over the grass and spilling into some other areas here in Commerce City. That's why tonight, if you can see where those lights are and where those trucks, that's where the crews that are going to be staying and working out here all night long to pump water out of this park to make sure there's nobody else at risk. Crews didn't want to waste any time cleaning up. They've already put a primer here on this wall. They're going to have to repaint this entire shed, but doing this takes up a lot of time, not to mention a lot of resources. Now investigators want help finding this person, right? Eli, they do because there are just so many kids that live in around this area. Let me take you back to about three o'clock yesterday here at this playground. That's when a 10 year old boy says he came back here because he forgot something. He was all alone. That's when he claimed someone tried to grab him. He fought back, as you mentioned, Eli, and now police are trying to figure out who may be responsible for trying to abduct a kid right here on this playground. We were worried about what was coming in in terms of tornadoes, thunder and lightning, but now the big question is flooding because there are a bunch of homes down here in Commerce City that have the chance of being completely flooded out because of what's falling right now. I also want to show you this trampoline because that is that impressive to see. This is where it rests right now and the big problem is not the trampoline but where it lies. These are the power lines right here above me. You don't want to get too close. This family's going to have to call Excel Energy because they don't want this all night. We also want to say thank you to the Cloud family because they called Fox 31 Denver to let us know about this story and thank you for letting us know because we were able to come out here and see this. But now we're going to see if we can help them get this trampoline back to this side of the fence. Reporting live in Aurora, Mark Meredith, Fox 31 well, the field crews had to make sure things were ready for game time. Fans tell us they were going to come out here no matter what the weather was going to be. They were going to miss this chance to cheer on their favorite high school team. Deb, this was not a small amount of graffiti. This was a lot. It's too dark out here right now for us to see it from this vantage point. But when people go on this trail tomorrow morning for their morning walk or run, there is still a lot of it left to see. And now the Douglas County Sheriff's Office wants to know who's responsible for the $5,000 bill.